What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to part 2 of the FIFA 15 Scouting Guide. Now today I'm going to have a look at uh, the different player types that you can scout because once you have chosen a good scout and you have decided where you're going to send them, you have different types of players that you can tell them to go and look for. Uh, because scouting in FIFA 15 doesn't work along the lines of saying to your scout I want you to go and find me a left back for example or I want you to go and find me a defensive midfielder it doesn't work like that you've got to tell them to find certain types of players and these will match uh, these will bring back players of several they could be of several different positions so for example um, let's see here defensive minded it could be he could bring back center backs could bring back right backs could bring back defensive midfielders that sort of thing so it's good to know what these different things do so you know what to tell your scout to go and find if you're looking to fill a certain gap in your team so the first one we're going to look at is uh, technically gifted and I've promoted a couple of players from my academy uh, who are technically gifted and I should mention as well that all of these players which I'm going to be uh, going through in this video they're all uh, they've all been um, they're all being shown after the May update because the way that growth works in FIFA 15 with youth players this is something I'm going to talk about in a video another time but it's it basically works that they only grow once a year and that's on the 1st of May so you could find you could scout a player with a really low overall range but a really high potential so keep hold of him when it comes on to comes around to first of may he could jump maybe 10 or 12 points so it's always worth keeping hold of them if they have high potential but like i said i'll talk about that in more detail in another video but i'll show you two players now who i've promoted who were technically gifted i have a center midfielder this player here and a right midfielder both of them technically gifted now if we look at their stats as you can see here, this player has fantastic technical stats. Uh, 86 ball control, 83 dribbling, 81 short passing, fantastic um, technical stats there. And physically he's not so good, but that doesn't really matter because that will grow with time. But the most important things are his technical stats and um, they're just going to blow the opposition away. And he's only 16 and he's got stats like this, it's incredible. Um, even though it says technical, uh, technically gifted, not all of his technical stats for players like this will be good. His marking, for example, and tackling isn't very good. So if you tell your scout to look for technically gifted players, they're going to bring back players who are more attack minded. They're very good going forward. Um, and one thing to watch out for though is if you find technically gifted wide players like this player because the game allocates a whole load of their stats towards their technical areas because like it you know as it suggests it's technically gifted so what this means is is that their physical stats miss out and that's not good if you have a wide player like this because as you can see 55 sprint speed he's not very fast he's not going to be beating a lot of defenders so while that may grow in time for the first season or so he it's going to be quite difficult to play with him because even though he's good technically he's going to be pretty slow so the best ones which you can find uh, for technically gifted players are often centre midfielders like this who have amazing uh, dribbling ball control passing shooting that kind of thing uh, so that is for technically gifted players uh, like I said they're good going forward not so good defensively uh, but next up we're gonna have a look at wingers so I'm just gonna quickly switch to another save and I'll show you what I mean okay so here we have uh, a few wingers who I promoted now um, despite the name winger you can like, get wingers in different positions like striker this player here was a winger and if you look he's got fairly decent speed but his dribbling his ball control they're the main good things for an attacker um, sorry for a winger type so he is going to be great at going past people um, up front his finishing is is decent but um, for his overall but his main uh, his main strength strength that lies with his dribbling and we also have some wide players here like this one for example really good technical stats Again, not amazing speed, but that will get, that'll get better with time. He's only 16, so he's got plenty of time to grow. So you can find very decent wide players and also attackers uh, with the winger uh, player type. But one really interesting thing about finding wingers is that you can often get massively overpowered but mispositioned fullbacks like this player here. As you can see, he has some insane stats like 95 crossing. 88 short passing, really fast, 87 reactions as well, 77 attack position. 
but he's only rated 68 and if you look at his defensive stats 46 slide tackle 48 stand tackle that's why he's rated so low so he will play incredibly well if you just put him on the wing um, but as a fullback he's not great and this is one thing about searching for wingers in FIFA 15 um, there you very often get uh, people with the fullback position but they're they are actually wingers so they're not great defensively over time they will get much better defensively because the game recognizes that they're fullbacks and it boosts their defensive stats so in a few years time these players are amazing because they're they're good at everything they're good at attacking and defending but when they first come out of the academy they're not so great at defending which is a bit odd given that they're fullbacks so but that's something to watch out for because finding fullbacks is very difficult in FIFA 15 you either your two options basically is to search for wingers when you get this type of player who's not very good defensively or search for defensive minded players who I'll come to in a bit um, who are very strong at tackling and marking and that sort of thing but they're slow so they're not very useful at fullback. Occasionally you can get good fullbacks who have a sort of mix of this but it's very rare um, so fullback is a difficult thing to scout in FIFA 15 but like I said you do get some very good uh, technically astute wingers fairly decent pace but you will find that the the uh, fastest wingers you find are fullbacks because for some reason they're so overpowered I mean look at this one 92 crossing 90 short passing um, but I think this is a good example of the type of player I'm talking about because he has amazing stats for a fullback 84 crossing is going to be great he's really fast as well that's going to be really useful uh, for a fullback but at the same time 40 slide tackle that's why he's only rated 61 so it seems a bit of a waste really but it's still He's still a useful player, I suppose. Um, occasionally, you'll get winger type attackers, like I mentioned, who aren't actually that great. They're not that fast like this player, not that quick. He's got decent stats, they're okay, I suppose, but he's nothing special. But um, the main thing to bear in mind with searching for wingers is that you can get very overpowered, mispositioned players uh, such as this one. So let's move on to the next player type. Okay, so the next type of player we have is uh, physically strong. Now you can get physically strong players of all positions, you can get them up front, you can get them as centre backs and one thing that this means is that very often you will find players such as this one for example who is listed as a, listed as a centre back but if you have a look his tackling stats are about as good as his attacking stats like his finishing and his long shots and because basically the game only has one template for physically strong players and so what it does is it distributes their technical stats equally so that they are they could uh, feasibly be defenders or attackers uh, which it seems a bit bad really because it means that they don't seem to specialize in anything so he's whereas he could have this player for example could have um, really good tackling but poor finishing and it wouldn't matter he now has they're about equal so he's maybe not as good as he could be but what this means in a few years time is that he's going to be incredible because he is going to be good at everything these stats all grow evenly so he starts off strong with good physical stats but his technical stats will grow evenly so he will be a really really good all-round player and if you can find a center midfielder like that such as this player then you really hit a good uh, you really found a good player because look he's got 80 strength he's already strong he's got good stamina great jumping good heading as well his passing is good but um, so he can attack, but his ball, like his ball control is good as well. But he can also defend, and so he can do, he can be useful at the back, and he can be use, useful forward. And as he grows, he is just going to get better and better at everything, basically. So he is going to be an absolutely fantastic player to have. So if you find a centre midfielder who is physically strong with high potential, like this guy, then you are going to have a really good player in a few years' time. And uh, at the same time, if you have a centre back like this, he still comes out really good. Like he, this player has high potential as well, so he's got some really good stats: 84 strength, uh, 82 jumping, 74 heading. He's going to be really, really useful. Um, you can get physically strong strikers as well, and they are usually they are fairly fairly slow. Sorry, like this guy, but they usually have decent strength and they're good in the air. This guy isn't hugely strong at the moment, but I'd probably put that down to a slightly lower overall. But he's got really good finishing and heading, and when he does start growing, he's going to have his strength is going to get a nice boost, and he's going to be a really good sort of target man striker. So physically strong players can be really good. Um, they are really worth considering because they are, um, like I said before, if you get a centre midfielder, then they are really well balanced. You can get really nice players with the uh, sorry with the physically strong player type. So let's have a look at the next type. 
Okay, so the next type we have is uh, Playmaker. And when I did this test, I sent out three, three scouts looking for three months for Playmakers. Um, and in good countries, <clears throat> sorry, such as France or Germany, that sort of place. And weirdly, I came back with a lot of goalkeepers, which is very odd, but I'm taking that as just a one-off. But anyway, when you have Playmakers, it used to be in previous games um, in the FIFA series that Playmakers were the worst type to get because they would be incredible with their mental stats, they would be off the charts, they'd be in late 80s and the early 90s, that sort of thing. Their reactions, again, would be insane, maybe as high as 95 or something if you had a good player. But all their other stats would be very, very average and they would be useless as Playmakers because there's no point in having incredible vision if you can't pass the ball. So they were ones to avoid. Now it seems that EA seem to have fixed that with FIFA 15, which is great. So you can find players such as this one, where he's got really good passing stats, he's got decent shooting as well, uh, his vision isn't too bad, and he's not massively overpowered in mental stats and lacking in everything else. He looks like the type of person who could be a good playmaker, uh, as a playmaker should be. So that's really useful. Um, and he is he would be a really worthwhile player to keep and as you can see he has potential to be special Which means he's gonna be a fantastic player. He's gonna go. He's gonna grow probably into the 90s uh, And yeah, he is gonna be a great player to have ignore all these goalkeepers for the minute uh, You can also have playmakers uh, On the wings like this player here, but that's not good uh, because the problem is with playmakers, they're more inclined to be, you know, they're good at passing. They're good at creating chances, things like that. So this guy, he's got decent passing, he's got decent decent shooting, he's got really good vision. But he is slow, which is pretty useless for a winger. Because the game sees that he's a playmaker, tries to give him good passing stats and neglects his speed. So he's going to be pretty useless as a winger until he starts growing, until his speed starts going up. So just bear that in mind. So you can see it with this guy, 47 acceleration. Uh, this guy's got 54 sprint speed, they're not going to be very good as um, wide players. So just bear that in mind, if you find um, a playmaker, uh, it's, be well, it's best if you end up with centre midfielders because the wingers, if you do get them, they're really not that useful. So let's have a look at the next uh, category. Okay, so I realised after I just did that little cutaway that the next category was goalkeeper, so I may as well just look at the um, the play sorry the playmaker test as well because I've got so many goalkeepers there. Um, play, uh, goalkeeper, sorry, very straightforward. Um, luckily, you're not going to find much variation here. You're not going to find all kinds of strikers coming out. Um, it will be mainly just goalkeepers and um, there really isn't any secret to goalkeepers. You can find good ones, you can find bad ones, um, but it's pretty straightforward. So this would be a very good example. As you can see, he has potential to be special. He's going to be fantastic. 71 overall at age 16, that's really good. If you find a player in the 70s, uh, when they're 16 or 17, that you're going to have a fantastic player on your hands. And uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say about goalkeepers. Pretty straightforward. So let's move on to the next one. Right, so this next category we have is attacker and all these players here came up when I searched for attackers and you might notice that there are no strikers in there and attackers are notoriously hard to find in uh, FIFA games and it's no different with FIFA 15 because I sent out those three scouts which I showed at the beginning of the video, sent them out for three months each to uh, three of the best countries you can scout in the game um, and I didn't find one good actual striker um, with high potential who met the criteria. I found some good players, these two are pretty good, but um, there were no strikers and that is a real problem when you're uh, scouting in FIFA because how do you find strikers if even the attacker player type doesn't bring them back? Uh, well, one, well, there are two things you can do really. Uh, you can either search for technically gifted or you can search for physically strong. So technically gifted, you're gonna come back with strikers who are good with their feet, that have great dribbling, good uh, finishing, sorry, and good passing as well, and usually half decent speed as well. But the problem with searching for technically gifted is that you may not actually get any attackers at all. You might just get uh, midfielders or you might get wingers and no strikers. So it's a bit of a gamble, but you can find them that way and you can find very good players that way. It's just uh, not set in stone. Physically strong is the other one. Like I mentioned before, you can get you can get strikers who are physically strong and they have good strength, good jumping, good heading, that sort of thing. They're usually quite tall. Um, that's useful if you want to have a sort of target man, if you like crossing into the box, for example, or if you want someone who can hold the ball up, lay it off to your other attackers. That's a useful thing to search for. But 
ironically searching for attackers isn't likely to actually bring you back any strikers um, and if we look at this player here for example his stats are very similar to the type of thing you get uh, when you search for technically gifted because he's very good at dribbling and he's very good at passing now this guy here is a slight exception he's very good at finishing and um, so he would if I had this guy on my team I would actually put him up front rather than a centre midfield because of his finishing and his long shots are very, sorry, are very good. Uh, this player here not so strong at finishing, really good at dribbling, ball control, passing and um, so he would be half decent on the wing maybe if he had de decent pace but this is the problem you know, you're searching for attackers you want strikers and this guy he's not specializing in finishing so this is this player here is the only one really who I have who is very good at finishing and um, honestly I hope they do fix this in future versions of FIFA because it's been going on for a while now and they still, still haven't sorted it out but it's just a warning too if you're looking for a striker ironically don't search for attackers so let's look at the last category now Okay, so the final category you can look for is defensive minded and usually when you search for defensive minded you're going to find uh, you can find players all across the back row, so uh, centre backs and full backs and also defensive midfielders like these players. Occasionally you'll find uh, centre midfielders as well but it's mainly those uh, positions that I listed just before. And these players are very good at things like your traditional defensive qualities, tackling, marking, interceptions, that sort of thing. And you can, uh, because there are only a few uh, st sorry, attributes which really contribute towards uh, defensive ability such as interceptions and tackling you can find players who have a relatively low overall such as this player but very high defensive stats so 80 stand tackle uh, 77 interceptions 76 marking that's fantastic but he's only rated 67 and that's because like I said you don't need a huge amount of different stats to be good to have um, to be good defensively so if we look at this guy as well 81 stand tackle 76 slide tackle but he's only rated 62 um, so don't necessarily be put off by the position uh, sorry by the overall of defensive minded players because you may find that they play much better than you'd be expecting because of some of the stats they have just bear in mind this guy he's not very strong 60 strength uh, same with this guy 69 it's not bad but it's not quite up to scratch compared to his uh, tackling um, so but he is a very capable defender and defensive minded is great if you're looking for if you're not um, too bothered about where they play so if you just want a player who can be very versatile like this guy could quite easily play at defensive midfield or he could play at centre back as well so um, I would I would give this serious consideration if you're looking for a defender instead of physically strong because if you look at physically strong you may just end up with a bunch of strikers or midfielders and not defenders if you search defensive minded you're more likely to find those players who can play at centre back if that's what you're looking for the only thing to, um, that's worth mentioning uh, as a warning is what I said earlier when I was talking about fullbacks which is if you find defensive minded players you can sometimes find fullbacks and they're not very well suited to playing fullback they might be really tall very slow but very strong so they're just basically centre backs who've been given the wrong position so um, if you're looking for a fullback it may be a good idea to steer clear of defensive minded um, but if you are looking for a strong tackler who can play in the centre then that's a really good thing to go for so I think that just about wraps it up for today and looking at player types I hope it helped you a bit and hope it clarified what these different categories do and what type of players you can ex expect to find with them. If you do have any suggestions or any thoughts on how the video was please do leave a comment um, and please leave a like if you thought it was good and I'll catch you next time. Cheers!